Hey, what's up? This is Bobby, W6IWN. I recently got contacted by TalkPod Radio, and they offered to send me a radio for a review. This is not a paid promotion. They asked for me to be honest, which I'm going to be. I hope to make a few more videos on it. This is just the start. I thought I would compare it with the Baofeng uh, UV5R, just to do a little side-by-side -side, since this is labeled the Baofeng Killer. So let's dive in and take a look. So here's the radio and how it's packaged and uh, sold as a GMRS portable transceiver. VHF, UHF, FM, AM, airband, multi-bands. However, it opens up to ham radio. So, it, and it's pre-programmed with the GMRS and FMRS already. If you're using it for that, it's already ready to go out of the box. If you're a ham and you wanna use it, let's show you what you do right away. Okay, when you get this thing out of the box, it's gonna only, it's gonna be locked. It's gonna only operate on FMRS and GMRS. So if you're ham and you need to open up to those bands, uh, the first you're gonna want to do oh, let's peel off this sticker. We don't need that. You're gonna have to hold simultaneously the PTT and the number eight button while you power it on. So let's see if I can do this. See how it says expand? Frequency mode. All right. You notice how it's on 519? Well, that's where I got it to top out on transmit. I'll get into the transmit frequencies here uh, a little bit more. Okay, here we got a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, they both do five watts. On the speaker quality, sound quality, talk pod, in my opinion, speaker's way better, especially on FM radio. Uh, battery, the battery's a win in my opinion. Uh, first off, it has USB-C charging and it's on the battery itself. So if it failed in your radio, and that can't happen. If it could fail in the battery, you can get a new battery. Also, you can be charging another battery while you got one in here. You can charge it in your car, this is great for preppers. I got a solar panel, now I have a way to charge my HTs. Really stoked on that. Uh, it's got a color screen versus the LCD on the Bao Fang uh, menu. They're pretty much this sim similar. I'm gonna go for the talk pod. I'm gonna give it a win. Felt a little better to me. Uh, there's a guy who speaks in English. If you're into, into that part. Frequency mode. It sounds more Englishy. I'm not really into the voice prompts myself. Uh, the overall feel, I like how it feels in my hand. It, it does feel better. This, this is my opinion. I mean, versus the Baofeng. I've used the Baofeng for a long time. I'm new to this radio, uh, but so far I'm pretty stoked on it. TalkPod comes with a programming cable. Baofeng does not. Really stoked on that. Uh, it's got a docking charger as well. I'm gonna actually give the Baofeng a win on it. The TalkPod has these weird little fins in here. I don't know if you can see it. But for the first time I put it on there, I actually had difficulty. I had to put it on there three or four times to get it to sit right. Um, no biggie, maybe that's just me. Uh, stock antenna, I can't tell you the performance. I'm gonna go do field testing. I'm not gonna be like everyone else and just talk about it and not actually use the radio. I'm gonna get out and use it and show you guys. But I do like this one better, just the aesthetics of it. I don't know the performance. Once again, the SMURs, any of that. And I'm not gonna get into the spurious emissions and all of that. There's plenty of videos on that. And uh, I'll leave that to the professionals that wanna talk about that. I'm here to talk about the other features of the radio right now. Uh, it's got FM radio. On. Anyways, Tech wind damage to roofs, siding. Anyways, that, was, that sounded like weather radio. Um, it's got AM airband receive which I thought was really cool. So you can listen to your planes. The Baofeng does not have that. Uh, it's pre-programmed, out of the box, FMR, GMRS. So it's ready to go if uh, that's what you're doing. Uh, it's chirp friendly, easy to expand as you saw. Hold the PTT, the number eight button, simultaneously while powering it on, it opens the frequency. So it's curious. What frequencies would it transmit on? Well, I found it to transmit from 136 to 259. Not as it's advertised. 
So you can do 220 allegedly. I don't have the antenna. I didn't try. I also got it to go from 350 megahertz all the way up to 519 megahertz to transmit anywhere in between transmit and receive on both of those. So then you got the receive FM broadcast and you also got the receive AM broadcast for airband. So for me, TalkPod is a no-brainer. Uh, I think it's like 60 bucks right now. It comes with all the stuff. Um, I can't wait to get out and play with it more. I did do some some radio checks on the repeater. I got great re uh, reports back. Um, I mean, it's just an HTM right near the repeater. So, you know, I'm not gonna go off that. I wanna get out in the field and uh, use it some more. So let's take a look what, uh, what all it comes with. So obviously the antenna. Oh, another thing I didn't mention, the belt clip. I always had uh, trouble with other radios, including the Baofeng, is those little screws and you gotta hold it in. This one just clips in. I thought that was, just made it a little convenient. Uh, it's got this nifty compact little box. Uh, in here, you have the programming cable, which I, I found interesting. Uh, some people said, don't use it, you need it to download a driver. Maybe I already had that on my computer, but I didn't have that problem. It, I just plugged and it went. Uh, the manual, I like the manual better, it's in English. However, I already have a hard time seeing, but even if I didn't, uh, even with my readers, the font is just, it's just too small. Once it gets into the basic, like, you know, attach the battery and it's got big pictures where, I mean, the picture alone, you know, says, but um, I cannot read the specs in the manual. The specs are, are too small for me to read with my readers. Um, it is in English. Uh, there's also a cool feature in the radio if you go to the last menu setting and uh, it will click open up a, a manual settings or something and it comes with a QR code. You can scan with your phone and get the internet settings. So there's a USB uh, 110 adapter for the USB portion. There is a USB-C cable. And then the dock charger, which is has a fixed cable in the back. That's about it. So in my opinion so far, as this standoff goes between the Baofeng and the TalkPod A36 Plus. I am Godzilla, I come to kill you. Thanks for watching Whiskey 6, India, Whiskey November 73.